I promised myself I would never see him again. Ten years is far too soon, after what he did. Yet here I am, reporting on the least important story for tomorrow's paper. The grand reopening of his Circus Electric. He hasn't lost his charisma. I'll give him that. Always giving them something new, something bigger. Something more. Dangerous. I've seen these two before. That's their happy face. <laughs> Maybe they'll arrest Uncle. That'd be a story I could get behind. What are they doing? Die! What? Die! Die! Then I hear him. Grump! Bothy, save my niece. Want this? Bring these bothersome bobbies to their knees. I do believe your rubber ball cracked his rib. Jolly good show, Grok. <laughs> Places, people. Positioning matters. Both is up. Don't attack. Just move forward. Trust me. <laughs> now, show me that front block, comrade. <laughs> A rather eventful reunion after ten years, was it not, dear niece? Saving lives isn't really your style, Uncle. But thank you. <laughs> I see your mother's lion remains as spirited as ever. Yes, and just as blind, no thanks to you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some facts to gather. Ah, for your circus story, of course. Dear God, no! I need to understand what the hell just happened here. That's the new story. Come, let's find Dr. Mabry. 
He hid once this maddening took hold, but... But he's a brilliant man, with brilliant thoughts. Unlike certain present company. Hmm. I'll not have you speak of Grok in that way. Or growl, as it were. Where is Dr. Mabry? We've looked everywhere. Not quite everywhere. No Dr. Mabry in here, but I do believe I spot some new talent. Crazed Bobby, coming right for us. Tell me, Bertha the Fireblower, you any good in a fight? A uh, fight? So oh, he brought a mime. Yes, yes, Bertha. Her very name puts the breath in fire breathing. Define trumpeting, Rock. Everyone's increased devotion inspires us all. Worth all ten shillings for sure. Maybe even eleven. No, just ten.
Is this fighting normal for you, Ringmaster? Only very recently. You just endangered this poor girl's life. Bertha, are you hurt? A scratch or two. Nothing a night in the sleeping cart won't heal. So lovely to see you, banged up as you may be from surviving out there. Uh, perhaps the sleeping car should be yours for the evening. Oh, and here comes Dr. Melbury. Save me from these relentless brigands! More of these fop doodles? Oh. <laughs> You want my opinion on this, don't you, Amelia? The pillar of power you designed was lit. Exactly then, everything around us went to hell. You, uh, you should see what happened to the London Bridge. The London Bridge? 
Has it fallen down, my fair Lord. babe? <laughs> uh, uh, disappeared. Uh, my drones confirmed. Vanished? How? I, I can get you there uh, to see for yourself. I just need, just need time. Uh, may I? All things come shortly from you, Ollie. Join us at the circus tent when you can. That's where she'll be with me watching how I plan my shows. What? You don't want to recruit more talent at the train fair? A marvelous suggestion, Amy. First the train, then the circus tent. And this is how it's done. What a waste of time. You love it. Die! Wait, what was that? Die! Die! Even more bloodthirsty vicious. Soik, 
And that, boys and girls, is why he's so often the main event.
Amelia, I I have this for you. For answers. A map? It'll get you to the Vanished Bridge, through all the dangers. Just how dangerous are these dangers, Dr. Mabry? Very. But you see, that's the beauty of this man. I have drones. I have the police radio. I know what's... what's out there. Such as... Abandoned boxes left behind by evacuees. Wanton violence. A bunch of who knows what. How specific? This map will keep you safe. Safer, anyway. Then I shall put it to good use. Thank you, Dr. Mabry. Not so fast, young The story's out there, Uncle. So I'm... Yes, of up. course you are, but not without some help. Help? Your um... second-rate performers who aren't good enough for the premiere? A rather negative spin. And only most. They're a devoted bunch, and they'll fight like old boots for you. Your safety matters, Amy. You're offering safety? Amy, your mother's accident. I... I know you'll never forgive me. Goodbye, Uncle. Good luck with the show. I guess I'm stuck with the four of you, but what order suits you best? in violence, a bunch of who knows what.
Whichever way we choose, we're sticking to it. No need to further endanger ourselves. Some skills require no exertion.
Fine journalism, this. Extra, extra! Deadly riot! Total mayhem on the streets! What's the cause? Read all about it!
It's the talk of the town!
A young man speeds down the street, standing atop a steam wheel. Somehow, he's managed to turn the machine on without wearing control specs. Without them, he'll likely crash any second now. No. Feels good, don't it? How about that follow through? Let me give you a hand!
Someone wants to play! The second pillar of power. More spectacular acts await. And more importantly, I... Or if you believe certain theories out there, even more bloodthirsty vicious. It's not exactly blood or beer around here right now, like when we lit the first pillar, is it? No vicious nearby for days. Hmm. We will only continue to grow from here. We get bigger, we get better.
It's the talk of the town! my second-rate performers handling things. Swimmingly. I thank you for sending them with me. It seems every step closer to the bridge offers a new... Yet things have calmed down around the yes. surface. How is it that a sight full of freaks is the safest, maybe even the sanest? And the maddening began mere moments after lighting the pillar of power. Pure coincidence? Um... Yes? Surely you don't suspect I have some hand in this? That would involve actually thinking about you, Uncle, which is something I actively try not to do. to strike could prove the key to victory. Thank you. 
vicious. Who are they? We don't bloody know. Read all about it.
on to something. Extra! Extra! Them crazy vicious! Who are they? 